Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We're wrapping it up this morning with a bit of sports and seems like a bit of good news all the way for Nigeria and her male basketball team. That's the Tigers. Wally Scott, good morning. Thank good you morning, for joining Nancy. us. Good morning, Sarah. So um, let's begin with the good news, right? Team Nigeria is the only men's basketball team representing Africa in the Tokyo Olympics. How much of a big deal is this? It is a big deal. Um, um, you ask yourself a question, basketball, you know, Nigerians are known for football, we're known for, mm, we're a football nation, you know, mm -hmm. but after a while, basketball started creeping in gradually, and it's taking over, and um, we know for one that the only sports league in Nigeria today, sponsored by a financial institution, is actually basketball. Yes, there's problem with the male Antipas not in court right now, you know, but the female league is going on and it's being sponsored by a major bank. And um, I think that's, that's how much basketball has actually sunk into the Nigerian concept at this point. Now that you've brought up the issue about the banks, we know Access, Guarantee, and what's the other one? Zenith. Three banks and Zenith oh, banks. Yeah. They contributed $200,000, um, $100,000 to the Tigers, $100,000 to the Tigers. Um, do you think this is great? Because I want us to tie this with the GoFundMe account set up to celebrate and support you know, friends of Nigerian basketball. Is this a good thing? Or would you say it just shows the failure on the part of the Nigerian government, her sports ministry, to fund and sponsor her basketball team to the Olympics? Good is a good word, but massive would be the best word for this. Because um, um, in the days, days past, the sponsors always wanted to be identified with footballers. You know, now you realize that football is not bringing us as much joy as basketball is bringing to us now. So they're actually leaning more towards basketball. And let me note that the reason why basketball is doing so well, male and female, don't forget that we are number one, ranked number one in Africa, male and female. 22 in right the now. world for yeah. the men. Yeah, and, and uh, because um, we have to say thank you to a former basketballer. His name is Olumide Oyedeji. And some other basketballers who actually took their time to go abroad to the U.S. and tell these guys, come, you can't make the dream team. No matter how good you are, you can't make America's dream team. Come and play for your country. And so a lot of them took it hook, line, and sinker, came back to Nigeria, and we can conveniently boast today that every Nigerian basketballer, male and female, ply their trades abroad. Um. That's a good thing. For me, there's a bad spot in all of that. If we have to do what we are doing in football, bring, export all the talents to come and play for us, the league in Nigeria suffers. Would suffer, yes. You know, so um, you realize that um, only one player actually got, plays in Nigerian league and got into the, the Tigress, the tiger. for example. The tigress or the Tigress? The Tigress, a okay. lady. And um, now she's been suspended by FIBA for some different things, doping and all that. And people are asking questions. How come she's the only person that I speak in our league is the one that, but you know what, that's the top of the day. Yeah, I want to say let's stick with the good news. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but what well, it should be said, um, now that we have foreign-based players, let's, let's get to the height of the good news, the euphoria of it. The, the Tigers played two exhibition matches. Mm -hmm. USA world champions, defending champions, we beat them. And then we play Argentina, and then we beat them. And some people are saying, um, eh, in an exhibition match, when the Olympic proper starts, we can't beat USA. And let's enjoy this period first. Yeah, but, let's but, enjoy but, this but, but, you know, is it, is it wrong to, you know, hold on to this euphoria, or should we just um, believe that we can actually go far with the Olympics. Yeah, please don't forget that um, a large amount of the guys who played against the USA, the dream team, in this Asia match, played together with them in the same team. Yeah. They are in the same country, in the same team. So they know each other, really. So I think we can work on the fact that they are, these guys are not new to each other. They know each other. So, so what we do might you, beat them do you at the Olympics. Think that we can actually, yeah, you, you just said we, we, we can beat them or we might beat them at the Olympics. There's lots of support right now for the Nigerian men basketball team, even though maybe we didn't have all that support, all that, you know, 
eye on them. The fact that they've bit the US, they bit Argentina, it has put a lot of eye on them right now. True. So we know that the CEO of AFA Sports, Africa for Africa, his name is Ugo, he basically has been putting his his all his support, throwing all his weight behind the, you know, the Tigers. What do you think the likelihood might be? Do you think we can replicate this very soon? I think so, yes. Because um, um, everybody's placing their bets on them. Everybody wants to place their bets on the winner. Um, look, for example, the Tigress, for example. Ogumike is a female basketballer, and Elizabeth Williams are both basketball players. But um, FIBA has banned them from playing for the Tigress now because they say they've played for the USA for too long. But USA basketball has said, listen, go and play for your country. If playing for them will help their basketball grow. So this is how big Nigeria has become in world basketball, not African basketball now. We've become that big. And um, FIBA is getting involved. People are getting scared. You know, There's this Anglophone, Francophone issue. And I say, now, Nigeria is doing so well. Francophone countries didn't do well. So let's frustrate them. You know what? It doesn't matter. We've got massive talent in our basketball teams, male and female. And the Tigers, like you said, everybody's placing their bets on them right now. Banks are coming together and donating money for them to make them do well. People want to brand them. Basketball has taken over. You know, the truth be said, I'm sorry to say this, and we have depended on football as our opium, our high for, for too, too long. long. And they have not done anything fantastic, really. When last do we win Nations Cup? Well, can we ever win the World Cup in my generation? I don't know. I don't think so, you know. But basketball is doing quite well. But they, is, it, is, it, is it a they have not done well enough or it is, a, you know, evidence of, you know, mismanagement here in the country? Because, you, like you mentioned, most of these basketball players, you know, aren't you know, fully based here in Nigeria. They play for, uh, for, for teams in the NBA. And so um, they would come together, they would train, they would, you know, put themselves together in, you know, outside Nigeria. How, well, they, how well can the students do, Osaroge? if the teacher is not sound, technically. Our coaches, our football coaches, I feel, are not as technically sound as these basketball coaches. Let me give you an example. The Tigers basketball coach, the male team, used to be an NBA coach. When I mean NBA coach, he is a household name in America, Brown. Everybody knows him in America. He was a popular NBA coach. We brought him here, somehow. He's coaching the Tigers. The female team, Hewley, the guy is a household name in America. He has coached in the NBA. So you think you Technically, they are sound. So you think Liverpool's coach would make the Super Eagles win the Af Afghan and maybe the Who? World Cup, um, Jürgen Klopp? If a Klopp with his technical abilities comes to coach the Super Eagles, who will win the World Cup in my, li in my lifetime. Mm. In my lifetime. Uh, well, I nice. still... See, it depends on... See, how many people really, really see potentials in the super egos and would want to come and coach so you say it's the teacher that makes the students no doubt because the truth be said i have seen big coaches see the technical abilities in the saudi arabian team and offer to coach them let's let's talk about mike brown for a moment i'm aware he's even coaching for free do, do you have that on that is not possible like you just said a few minutes ago yes we may not have his um his contract in public for the airport, nobody does that. Anyway, I nobody wanted to confirm that. Nobody does that. But, but, but still, okay. don't forget that, um, like you said earlier, banks have rallied around to donate money for the basketball players. I know for one that I part, I won't call names of banks here, but I know there's a particular bank on the ground that were involved in ensuring Mike Brown came here in the first place. Mm. Let's, just, let's stay there. Interesting. So also, <laughs> I want to ask you before we quickly wrap up about their kits. We know it's been stuck at a papa pot for a long time. Uh, the Minister of Sports, Sunday Dari, had to pitch in, uh, speak to the Minister of Finance before that was released. Really, do you think there's really going to be an end to all this seeming embarrassment, you know, regarding our sports, you know, how we're funded, how we're clothed and things like that? I don't think it's going to happen because um, it, it, it's sad that it's the, the players are doing well trying to play for their country. Like I said earlier on the show, a few weeks ago, it's only the guys who grew up abroad, who were born abroad, who come here and fight with so much passion when they are playing for Nigeria. The ones who grew up here don't have that passion. And the people who manage our sports here don't have that passion. I have been to a competition, a female competition in Mozambique, where our female players didn't get their jerseys early enough, so they cut their tracksuit to shorts and used to play. We, we won that match, though, but that's how embarrassing Things can get. And that's why I, I, I didn't think that Jurgen Klopp was the answer. I think that the system, the sports system here, the whole of the, the, the space 
Don't forget, don't forget that challenge. if it's the not system just, does not, not frustrate Klopp and the boys still ply their trades abroad and still have that abroad mentality, we will still do well as long as the system is not allowed to frustrate Klopp. Yeah, but the system has frustrated every coach. Don't forget, it's Sunday, <laughs> it's Sunday only system, say, walked yeah. away. It's the same thing we're saying. Yeah, so it's, so not, it's not just the coach, because you blame the coach. And I don't think it's the coach. I think it is, you know, the, the whole of the Nigerian sporting system here. Athlet athletics, you think we don't have good coaches in athletics? I think we do. Okay, so why aren't we, you know, gold medal co contenders in any I could, I, could, I could lean with you on that one, that maybe the structure... The structure just might be a major, major problem. Because you can imagine players abroad, they are expected back in Nigeria. Some have only been here once or twice, some never. And then they get here and then after training, it's time to go and they say, your kids are stuck at the ports. All right, we need to go. Yes, Ollie Scott, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very so much for your analysis. Thank you. Appreciate that. that. Thank you. And uh, this is where we wrap up for this week. Actually, it's a Friday morning, so we wish you a great weekend ahead. If you missed out on any of the conversations we've had all through the week, uh, catch up on our social media platforms at Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel. Yes, and we're also at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. That's our new YouTube channel. You can also find us at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle on all social media platforms. I am Aneta Felix saying have a beautiful weekend. And I am Osao Gye Ogbonwa. See you at nine.